Hey guys and girls, welcome to your writing lesson today. Let's begin with your learning target. I can write a fictional narrative story. A fictional narrative story is a story that has a beginning, a middle, and an ending. There are characters, there's a setting, a problem, and a solution. Sometimes fictional narrative stories can be realistic, other times it can be unrealistic. Realistic means that it could really happen in real life. Um, unrealistic means that it could not. That's going to be your stories that include your magic, your talking animals, dragons, um, events, and places that just do not or cannot happen in real life. Um, now, as we were planning this, we went ahead and decided um, whether or not we were going to be writing a fictional narrative story or an unrealistic um, narrative story. So um, just a quick review. Um, I have chosen to write a realistic fictional story and um, Cody is my main character in my story. He's eight years old. He likes to learn about animals. He likes to read books about animals. There are secondary characters in my story. Alex is his best friend and is very shy. Sarah's a zookeeper at the petting zoo and Mr. Larson is Cody and Alex's second grade teacher. Um, then we planned out our setting. The setting of my story is going to be on a school field trip in the springtime during the day, and they're going to a zoo called Cherry Street Zoo. An additional, that's where the majority of my story is going to take place. Now, um, the an additional scene in my story is going to be at the actual petting zoo at Cherry Street Zoo. Um, that's going to be another setting. And then we planned out our problem and our solution. The problem in my story is, is that Cody and Alex are at the petting zoo and they're feeding the um, sheep. And as they're doing that, they discover that there's a goat on the other side of the fence um, where it should not be. So their problem is um, they don't have any coins to try to lure the goat back in with food because they, were, they had to um, use the coins to buy um, little cups of food. So they don't have any more coins to do that. So um, they've got to figure out another way to get that goat back inside of the enclosure um, before their teacher finds out and before um, the zookeeper finds out what has happened. So the solution of my story is going to be um, that Cody remembered in a book that he was reading about goats that they like to eat anything. And so even sweaters and paper. So he's going to take his, his, his plan is to take his sweater off. Um, Alex is going to be in charge of opening and closing the gate. And then he's going to try to lure the goat back into the enclosure um, using his sweater um, without getting his sweater eaten. Um, so that's going to be the solution to my story. And then also we planned out the point of view. Who's going to tell the story? Is it going to be Cody telling the story? Is it going to be Alex telling the story or the narrator? Well, I chose the narrator because the narrator is kind of like the outside person looking in. The narrator knows everything that's going to happen, um, everything that already has happened, and he knows how all of the characters are feeling. Um, so the narrator is telling my story. So yesterday in writing, or excuse me, our last lesson in writing, we rehearsed and started and began drafting our, our first um, rough draft. Now, the important thing about a rough draft is I want you to remember, just get your ideas down. Don't focus on spelling right now. Don't focus on your ending marks. Yes, use them, but don't let that um, trip you up. I want you to mainly worry about getting your beginning, your middle, and the ending of your story down. Now, you've already got all of these planning sheets. Use them, okay? Um, I've already opened them back up and approved them in Seesaw, so all you have to go back is, and look is look at them. I even recommended to another student yesterday, take a screenshot of it with your iPad. Hold down Home and um, Power at the same time. Take a screenshot of those planning sheets that you've already written. That way they're already saved on your iPad, so as you're writing your story on your notebook paper, you can just pull up those screenshots on your iPad. Um, use them, though. We didn't do all that work just for nothing. We're going to use these planning sheets to help us guide our writing. Um, now I'm going to see if I can um, zoom Zoom a little bit in. Um, let's see. It's a little blurry. Might be a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to just read the draft that I have so far. Um, and today I want you to rehearse your story again one more time with somebody at your house um, or in your class. Rehearse means to tell them the story from the beginning, the middle, all the way to the end with exactly the details that you want your story to have in it. Go ahead and speak it. Make sure it makes sense. And if, you're, if your partner or your family member or whoever you're reading to at home is like, oh, that's a little bit confusing, well, then fix it. Now's the time to fix it, okay? Um, 
as you're telling your story, I want you to tell them every single detail. I want you to try to add even more details. Um, when you close your eyes and you think about what do you want your story to look like, how do you want your story to unfold, that will also help you add more details in there as well. Um, so I'm going to read what I have so far. Remember, you're writing on notebook paper. We are not writing, or you might, if you're at school, you might be writing in the booklet. Um, you are not typing your story out on Seesaw. I want you to actually have a hard copy of your story so that we can edit it and add to it or take or make deletions as needed. I've got more notebook paper for me. You should have some in your journal because um, today we're going to finish our story. So I'm going to read what I have so far. And we're going to try to go ahead and get into the problem, and then we're going to wrap up the story with a solution. So remember, in the beginning of the story, you always want to introduce your characters and the setting. Cody is an eight-year-old boy in second grade. He and his best friend Alex are in Mr. Larson's class. They are going on a field trip to Cherry Street Zoo. Cody is so excited to go on this field trip because he loves reading and learning about animals. The students arrive at the zoo on Tuesday morning around 8 o'clock a.m. It was very sunny, and there was hardly any breeze. Cody and Alex stayed together and walked to the petting zoo. There were goats, deer, sheep, and chickens. The boys were so excited to feed the animals themselves. So that's where I'm going to pick up today. I'm going to pick up with the boys getting to the petting zoo and um, getting the food and then discovering that the goat was outside of the enclosure. So I'm going to start a new paragraph. I'm going to push over with an indention. Um, so let's see. I ended up saying the boys were so excited to feed the animals themselves. Um, so I'm going to say um, they purchased um, two cups of food. Oops, and remember, I want you to skip lines. We're skipping lines since this is a rough draft so that we can go back and um, correct any mistakes that or spelling errors or add any details that we might want to do later. They purchased two cups of food to feed the sheep. Um, and now I want to kind of introduce the zookeeper. Her name was... Let me look at my planning sheet, Sarah. She's a very friendly zookeeper. So um, they purchased two cups of food, and I'm gonna, I actually, I'm gonna add a little arrow right here from the zookeeper, Sarah, to feed the sheep. The cups cost, costed, um, 25 cents each. Each boy paid a quarter and entered the petting zoo enclosure through the gate through a let's say let's just go through a small gate all right now I want to get into the problem so I've got they purchased two cups of um, food from the zookeeper Sarah to feed the sheep the cups cost 25 cents each each boy paid a quarter and entered the petting zoo enclosure through a small gate Cody and Alex were enjoying their time feeding the sheep when they noticed a goat on the outside of the pen. All right, so now we've reached our problem. So I'm gonna pull my problem, my planning sheet back up again. So it says they noticed a goat on the other side of the fence where it should not be. They must have left the door open. They don't have any more coins to let the goat back in with food. They need to find a way to get the goat back into the enclosure. All right, so here's their problem. So let's go ahead and kind of tell a little bit about how they're feeling. Um, when they see this goat on the outside of the pen. So Cody and Alex were enjoying their time feeding the sheep when they noticed a goat on the outside of the pen. They 
were so shocked. The goat must have escaped when the boys entered the petting zoo. How in the world could they get the goat back in the pen without getting in trouble with their teacher or the zookeeper. All right, so I'm out of space on that paper, so I'm gonna to go to my next page. Remember, try not to write on the back. Um, that, that'll just help us as we are, um, when we start editing. All right, so where I stopped, it says, how in the world could they get the goat back in the pen without getting in trouble with their teacher or the zookeeper? So I need to let my readers know that the boys do not have any more coins to buy any more food. They could lure the goat back in the, the pen with um, some food, but they have to have 25 cents to buy another cup, and they don't have that. So I'm going to say they could lure the goat back in with more food, but they were all out of quarters, so they couldn't buy any more food. So now let's get into the solution. They don't have enough coins to do it, so that's not going to solve their problem. So the solution that we ca that I came up with back when we were planning was that Cody remembered reading about how the goats like to eat anything they can get a hold of, including sweaters. He suggests that Alex is in charge of opening and closing the gate and that Cody will encourage the goat to come back um, into the enclosure with a sweater without letting him eat the sweater. So now we're going to get into, we're going to wrap up our story and get into the solution. So they could have, they could lure the goat back in with more food, but they were all out of quarters, so they couldn't buy any more food. Finally, Cody remembered reading that goats eat anything even sweaters or paper. Cody decided to use his sweater as a lure to get the goat to come back into the enclosure. Alex held the gate open so the goat could get in and then closed it really quickly so he wouldn't get out 
again. All right, so let's read that. Um, let's see if we've left out anything or to see if we want to add anything. So I'm gonna start at the top. They could, they could lure the goat back in with more food, but they were all out of quarters, so they couldn't buy any more food. Finally, Cody remembered reading that goats eat anything, even sweaters or paper. Cody decided to use the sweater as a lure to get the goat to come back into the enclosure. Oop, there's a mistake right there. Spelling. Alex held the gate open so the goat could get in and then close it really quickly so he wouldn't get out again. So I'm going to start right there. There's, I've got my solution. That's what they did. Now, I haven't really gotten into um, if the boys got caught or not. That's going to come later. But I, I do want you to mainly work on today getting, getting your beginning, which includes your characters and their setting. Then I want you to get into the middle with your problem, and then I want to wrap up your story with the solution. When you finish writing all, and see, it took me three papers, and I'm not even finished yet, so I'm on three pieces of notebook paper. Um, I want you to take a picture of all of your story and upload it into Seesaw so that I can read your rough draft. This is your first draft. And then in our next lesson, we're gonna, get, we're gonna start digging into this draft and adding details to it to make it even better than what it already is. Happy writing, y'all.